my name is Jason J. Rock Houston, and it, uh, this is being done for Categorist TV. Our special guest today is guitarist Casey Trask. Uh, Casey, we're talking to you today because you're a touring guitarist with uh, Trauma. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. How did, the gig, how did you get the gig? Talk a little bit about that. Oh, man. So I had done a tour. I was filling in with the band Hellstar from, uh, from Texas, and uh, we were uh, opening up for a band called Flotsam and Jetsam. Yeah, and right. they yeah. Uh, we became really good friends with the guys and their bass player at the time, Michael Spencer, is now the bass player of Trauma, or at least you know for the tour. Yeah. And he, uh, they were in need of a guitar player, so he contacted me to see if I was down or if I knew one any, knew anyone. So cool. There's a couple of Metallica connections here. I mean, of course, Flotsam and yeah. Jetsam. That's the band Jason Newstead came from. The man that replaced the late great Cliff Burton and Trauma, which you're uh, playing with now, um, yeah, that, yeah. that was of course Cliff's uh, pre Metallica band. Um, were you yeah. how aware uh, you were you of uh, Trauma? Were you much of a fan? I definitely knew about them. I hadn't uh, had dove. I've, I've listened to the old albums, you know. At so, least so that, that's a great quiet. question. I mean, how hard was it to kind of, you when you got the? Uh, did you have to audition, or were you just kind of offered the gig and? Um, I, um, it was between me and another guy and I just, uh, they gave me the list of songs and I just started, uh, kind of plucking through them and, uh, I was learning about a song a day or whatever, just to, and then I would upload them, uh, That's interesting, you know, the, uh, the players, you have yeah. to learn songs like that as opposed to maybe being a fan of the band prior to your joining and kind of, oh yeah, I know these songs, I just got to practice them, you know? Yeah, exactly. That helps a lot is just being super familiar you know with how it goes so it's like you're just kind of yeah. singing it along in your head you know yeah. and, and you know um i interviewed the drummer uh um chris a, a couple of times gustafson and um he was telling me you know many people like um they're of course aware of trauma because it was cliff burns pre metallic band that's what a lot of people know but um they're not like really familiar with the band stuff a, a lot of people aren't even aware that they've been constantly touring you know all these years and this is like the highest profile tour that fans had. And so you guys are also, you're on tour with uh, Queensryche and, and Marty Friedman. So um, that, that's pretty good. Uh, how, how's the tour been going? Oh, man, the, the Queensryche guys are just so accommodating and just want you to be a part of the, the whole family. And they just really they do barbecues and stuff and just invite everybody. And it's, it's just been a blast. And, and the level of shows that we're doing is just amazing. I mean, so. As a fan myself, I would think for anybody going to these shows, it's going to be it's going to be a great show by all three bands. I mean, and all all three bands are, um, you know, a little different. They're all in the metal realm, of course, but like yeah. Marty Friedman kind of does a guitar thing and and it's it's a little something for everybody, I think. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's it's a good variety, you know. <laughs> yeah. And so like, um, I mean, we're, we're lucky to be get talking to you today because you're telling me, you know, um, a little bit, you guys start loading the equipment. So, you guys um, getting set up for night night. You're gonna be rehearsing all day. We uh, are. We just uh, we load in at a certain, around two thirty, huh. and then just to get our gear yeah. it up there near the stage, and then uh, they start sound checking. Queens right, Marty Friedman, yeah. and then we're the last to go up on the stage. Uh, to sound check because everything kind of has to pile on top of each, you know, each other. So we're the last to sound check, but the first to go on. So it's 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 pretty convenient, you know, because we get to just go up, put our yeah. stuff up there, leave it, take it yeah. right back off, you know, and then we get to watch two amazing bands <laughs> play and for so the rest right of the. Now, like you said, you're 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 um, referring to you as a touring guitarist in trauma, but um, is there any chance that they that may change? I mean, what's your status currently, like? Um... They want to wait and see how the uh -huh. tour goes. I I think so. Yeah, I think uh yeah, that's that's definitely been talked about. So uh, I think it's gonna be kind of at the end of it all how how we feel and how yeah. the guys feel and Cause, yeah, cause but it seems to be going people, really well. So as many people know you from um, the band Cage, and I was curious, are you still are you still part of that as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're uh, we're about halfway through another album, so uh, as wow. soon as we get back, we're gonna start finishing yeah. that up i'm sure so yeah I, i've interviewed sean peck many times over here and he, he's a super talented guy he's got more you know he's got cage with three trimmers um deaf dude he's got everything yeah, yeah. and he was telling me like during the pandemic he's like 
he's like, I, um, thanks to the pandemic, I've got like my next five albums in the can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know Death Dealer works really quick. I know he's got like just like albums in the bank. So, <laughs> yeah. and so yeah. growing up, Casey, who are some of your guitar heroes? Oh man, uh, probably the first one was like, well, Eddie Van Halen and Jimmy Page. Oh. You know, I think yeah. those two really nailed it for me in uh, the beginning. And then I started getting into the heavier guys like Marty, and yeah. it's definitely up there for me, and Paul Gilbert. Yeah, can, can you can you believe that Marty recently, um, you know, reunited on stage with Megadeth? How cool is that? <laughs> My God, yeah, I, I totally got the live stream tickets just so I could see it and be a part of it, and it was it was amazing. Yeah, the whole I, concert was amazing. I love their, like their new line. You're, you're probably a Metallica fan. Um, how how could you not be? But um, do you remember like um, where you were? How you learned the news of um, Cliff Burton's passing? Oh man, I was uh, I wasn't even born yet. I was born oh, in '91. Oh wow! See, okay, there you <laughs> go. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. but you know, that's it's just such a sad, sad story every time you yeah. hear it, man. Like the reason, the, reason I, yeah, the reason I asked is because I mean, it's got to be kind of a, a, a interesting feeling, um, even even though you weren't alive back then, to kind of know that there's this legendary bass player and um, you're in the band that you know he was in even before Metallica, and you know the band's the band's still kind of out yeah. there doing their thing and. They're finally getting the recognition they, they really deserve. Yeah, yeah. They just needed the right things to happen, you know. Yeah. So it's, you know, I think they're in a good spot right now. Yeah, and they really are in a good spot. And what I think is great about getting this tour and the new album and you being part of all that is um, that people are finally seeing um, as great as it is that, you know, this is Cliff Burton's Metall uh, pre Metallica band. There's much more to the band than just that, you know. This is kind of the new era of the band. And I, I'm glad to see people are kind of recognizing that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a new new time, and the the players in are, are in a new place. You know, so it's mm -hmm. you know they're making the music that makes them feel good. So. It's, and even though you're cool. not you know an original member, even a permanent member yet, you're you're part of the trauma family, and it, it's got to be a great feeling to know that you're part of you know this uh, legendary band that's finally getting some recognition that they've deserved you know a long time ago. Yeah. It's definitely a the honor man you like the, the and, and I, among and these guys casey correct me if i'm wrong but you also played in the kiss tribute band kiss alive is that correct yeah that's correct oh, yeah yeah, I see that poster. Awesome. yeah. Cause, um, jason I, i've interviewed him many times he's a super um super cool guy and let's talk about um obviously being a kiss fan oh, and then um because people might be surprised to learn that you're in a band like that i say that because like more than one type of music but people might think oh you know casey he's he's a metal guy but um who isn't a kiss fan if you know what i mean and, and um you can love more than one thing right <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah it's important to do more than one thing i think you know so <laughs> and what's it like because again you, you know people might say oh playing in a tribute band you're playing other but to me i like to call it rock and roll theater i mean because yeah it's more than just playing somebody else's music you dress apart What's it like? Is it, it, it's a little different than being in a cover band because, you know, slapping on that makeup, getting in the costume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't even have to play and, and people are looking at you like you're a superhero. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like when you're up there, half the time I'm just trying not to fall on my ass <laughs> <laughs> with those giant boots. You know, so it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a definitely a different kind of show. Like it's a, a lot of different things to worry about, like getting the makeup on and then mm -hmm. not touching my face during a performance is yeah. kind of you know it's hard to forget you know hard to remember. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just uh, but it's so much fun. It's it the reaction you get is it's just phenomenal. So. And so like being in all these different bands, I mean obviously um, trauma is probably the main thing right now because they're out on tour and you're doing this. But um, does it ever get hard to get to schedule? You know, uh, to work the schedule out with all the bands it has been um it has been in the uh at sometimes you know sometimes there's some conflicts but uh usually there's kind of just kind of like an order that i kind of have to keep things in you know the kiss band has a sub that they can use for you know i'm an ace so they use another ace from another yeah. tribute band so that's usually nice um and then you know just keeping in communication with all the the touring and stuff with cage and tremor well yeah. cage and tremors are almost the same thing so yeah. it's, they, and so they figured that out 
and, and trauma let me ask um okay because obviously you didn't play on the new album but um do you do you know what happened with the other guys that did or were they just session guys or ones that played on the album um no he was part of the band or is is still um i think it just was wasn't a it's, it's a long tour so i completely yeah. understand people that you know can't make that happen so you know i'm not sure the full details but uh okay, okay. yeah i was just i was just um and um so how much of the new album um how, how much of the new songs are you guys putting in the set versus the classic material we have five from the new album we're only allowed six or uh, uh 30 minutes up there so That's there's that too you know yeah yeah so yeah yeah we got five uh five of the new album songs and then yeah. one of the older recordings so uh, and so um, right we're now, working the tour, in a couple more. The tour is going across the U.S. Has there been any talk of maybe taking it to other parts of the world, or you're not there yet? They've been talking. Yeah, just ideas and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't give it away, but, but uh, I think yeah. you said something about the youth. Yeah. We'll see. You yeah. just kind of I mean, got to. I realize you're, you're as we happen. say, you're, you're, a, you're kind of a touring guy, and you're, you you don't get to. It's not all. Of, you know, you, you're not in charge of calling the shots. You kind of. Um, do do what you're told, so to speak. But like you get along for a ride, as they say. But um, is that part of what makes it exciting for you? Kind of like not knowing what's next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or just or just meeting people. You know, you, you know, you're not. I'm not. You know, on that level quite yet. You know, you know, being in you're there, cars yeah. or something. But you know, it, but you know, you, the more you do, the more it can happen. And you know, it's it's I mean, just great it's just yeah. hanging with the Queensrÿche guys and the the Marty band, man. It's just and like like you told me, like like being on tour with Hellstar. That that you know, one thing leads to another. Um, yeah, that was I did that in 2016. That was what like eight years ago or whatever, six years ago. And, and then, you just, know, uh, speaking of Hellstar, I, um, uh, about a month or so ago, I, I interviewed Larry um, from Hellstar. And, um, nice. I just saw him last night. Super cool guy. I wasn't even aware what I was interviewing him for last time. Was He's, he's got this other band, Santa something. It's like a, a Spanish metal band. And, and it's, it's totally yeah. it's interesting. It's totally cool because I'll be real honest. Um, typically, I don't listen to stuff like that. But the prep for the interview, I kind of gave it a listen. And, and what was interesting is... Um, couldn't understand a word the singer was saying, but it didn't really seem to matter. It just was great sounding music. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I've, I've had a couple of Spanish, you know, metal band. Like, you know, <laughs> Mago de Oz. Mago de Oz is a really cool one. But, so, yeah. um, Hellstar, um, are, you, are you still part of that, or were you just, like, doing a touring with them? That was, yeah, that was just a one uh, tour that we did with Flotsam and uh, Hatchet. Hatchet was the op other opening yeah. band. But uh, yeah, that was about a 40-day tour that we did, and that was a blast. But yeah, that was, that was just a one-time thing. And as a guitar, guitar player that gets on all these different tours, does it make it kind of fun as, it, as opposed if you were in like one band where, okay, we played these songs for years. This is our music. This is what we do. Um, you know, sometimes, like you said, for example, with Trauma, you had to go in, you had to learn the songs. You're always kind of um, having to learn and do new new things, so it keeps your chops up in a way. Yeah, the main thing is just organizing it in your in your head. You know, <laughs> like I'm like I kind of have to push all the other bands that, like at to the back of my mind for a little bit. Just like these six songs are all I need to worry about for the next two months or whatever. So, but then you know once you get them like you know naturally, then I can start going and, back to and the, like with the trauma. Stuff. How comfortable you do you feel like? Putting your spin on the tunes, like, um, do you try to stay as true to the way the original player did them, or what? They've, yeah, they've allowed me a little bit of, you know, breathing room, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, I, you know, the kind of spirit of the band is just thrash, you know, Bay Area thrash metal. You know, as long as you're, you're keeping it tight, the solos, you can kind of let your own thing happen, you know. But I, I like keeping the melodies that were established in the album. Additional, yeah. Yeah. there you know but the the flurries and all the yeah. all the special stuff on top can kind of be your own yeah. you know okay well that's that's pretty cool and let me ask you casey um you were one time giving guitar lessons i think i saw on your on your page are you still doing that or how can people get yeah in yeah yeah you can always find me uh on you know instagram i have a like a link tree you can always email me through there and uh facebook all that kind of things. There's when plenty of places. 
to take a le lesson? Is it like stuff over the internet? Is it, um, do they typically tell you, hey, I want to learn how to play to your song or is it kind of just whatever they want to learn? Yeah, it's usually, every student's different. Um, but a lot of people come to me, they just kind of want to know how it all works. You know, yeah, yeah. sometimes they have like a problem. They're like, I need a picking thing. Like, I don't know how, to, like, my picking isn't yeah. working or I need more melody in my solos. And it's just, it's yeah. usually just, just focusing on one little thing for a yeah. little bit, and you know, until they grow. And then they're like, yeah, leads branches off into other things. And, well, well, Casey, I know your time yeah. is precious today. And I really appreciate you taking time to speak with us. So let's definitely keep in touch. Anything, anytime you want to do this, um, feel free to reach out to me. Like I said, I know your um, bandmate, Jason, he's done a lot of stuff for me over the years. And um, so I love to see that, that you're working with him too, because he's, he's a super cool guy. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's a, he's a amazing dude. Go get her, man. He's you're a, working with the great Sean Peck too, another another uh, metal yeah. legend in his own right. So you're you're oh, always, yeah. uh, heavy hitters there. So that that speaks yeah. volumes about I think um, your talent as a musician, and that's why you're on a tour like this. You know. Ah, oh, man, <laughs> appreciate that. Thank you. So, so the yeah. you just did, it'll be posted it's, in the next week. I'll be sure to let you know when it posts, and feel free to post on any of your sites. But I'll. I'll let you get, go so you can get back to unloading your equipment. Thanks for, for doing this today, man. I really appreciate it. Okay. Okay, really bye -bye. appreciate you. Thank you. Anytime.